Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about picture box control in csr.net Windows application. So, see, picture box is generally used to display the picture in a form. So, here for picture box, you have to go to toolbox and you drag to picture. So, here from here, you can directly drag the picture. So, here this is the arrow link. So, click there. So, here from here, you can select the picture. So, click on choose and here after click on you know here import so you can select any picture so i'm going to select a butterfly click on open so butterfly it's open now here after you can select local resource also so if you select local resource so this takes whichever click on import the same thing click on open so and here butterfly selected click on ok so this is the things are displaying so if you execute this this thing we will display so from here you can select the size font. So here this is the auto size. This is the zoom facility. So this this is the center image. Here center image and here a stretch and here this is a normal. So I, I think center image it's a, a stretch image it's a look good. So if you execute the thing so right here or this will display. So see this thing, this image or display. So one more thing, add here one property dog parent container. So parent container has the this or display into the full form. So if you execute, so this will display into the full form. So see add here full form. It's a display. Now here let's so do undo undock the document parent. So now it's so small. Form. Oh, it's looking as well. Now, now let's uh, understand this thing by. So this thing by code. So I am going to do undo operation. So nothing inside there. Now here after let's click on or double click on the form and here go uh, right at your pick. So so you have to pick first the picker box. So let's so drag one picture box. So picture box drag. Now here also just try to pick the so picture box one. It's so display. Here the picture box name is. So if you want to see that now, this is the name of picture box. And here picture box one dot here I'm going to use background image layout. So this is the thing so about the background image layout. So get and set the background image layout, defining the image layout in image. So this uh, do uh, uh, set and get the background image. So I need this property here after image layout dot. So we have different option triangle center here also. So you can select any one. So this is the image layout center equal to image center and here after none a stretch. So let's uh, select a stretch and uh, here after picture box one dot. So this time uh, background image required. So about the background image. Uh, set the background image and display the control for so these things and uh, here equal to image we need to image say so what the image and abstract base class provide the functionality of bitmap and it's come under this namespace image and here from file so if you want the file so this uh, create the image from a specified file so we have to give the uh, Suitable address of the file. The file is in or C drive image and you know to the file format. This all format file format JPG. So and here select or this and here give file format or ct dot jpg and here this is the error sign because 
you know, this is the reason of image. So we need to give double slash. Now the error out, and here we need to use semicolon. Now let's execute. So this is a stretch image. It's a display. And here after we can select other option also. Uh, here right center. Let's execute. So this is the center image. Or here you can use that add here. Or zoom. So this is a zoom image. Or you can select the image from here also. You need to click add here. Or only you need to do add your stretch image and your dock. So this is the full. Since I have given the doc so that here yeah, it's displaying in the full or uh, uh, screen or form. So this is the one way we can display our image in the forms. So let's understand one more example. So this uh, we can select display the image by here yeah, by forms or we can write this uh, piece of code. Now here after I'm going to show you one example one more example. So and here first I'm going to declare one global variable. The name is a string. And uh, here giving the name of a string path. And here after this bracket and in here double quote we need to write the so first ct became ct dot jpg now here after next is serve dot jpg and here after butterfly dot jpg and one more the peak name dessert dot jpg so I do we need to give double back uh, forward slash Since I have taken add here or the string and your array type, so this is store in zero index one, two, three. Now and execute one more time. So I click the mouse, so it's so displaying CT. I click two times, so I add here, so here after desert. CT again serve. So this time this is a display and here butterfly. So according to click here the picture changing. So this is the way we can use the picture box control in CSOL dotted Windows application. So you need to write to this code this piece for getting the Expected output, you need to write this one in mouse click event of picture box. So you get from this person, mouse click, select this one on mouse click. So let's execute one more time. So let's click here. So this is a display desert. This time, this is a display city. Here, city. So at that time, that's all. 
Now, this is a butterfly. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. 